Scrap Junkies, welcome back to the channel. So I've been doing a little bit of thinking. And uh, yeah, usually that's, that's a red flag right there when I start thinking. So I loaded up all my bars from both locations. We've got uh, 319.4 pounds of copper, 90 pounds of brass, and 18.8 pounds of lead sitting here. And yeah, I can actually feel this. This is like 400 pounds. <laughs> I can feel it when I'm driving around, it's crazy. But, we're gonna go look at the charts and uh, I'll explain why. So first off, I know everybody's situation is a little bit different. Some people have an influx of copper that's coming in all the time and it does not make sense to melt it down and hold it because it's just, it's, it's like a rotating door. It's just coming in, they sort it the best they can and it's out the door. My situation's not like that. I will have dry spells where I won't get any for months, two, three, four months sometimes. And then other times I'm getting it pretty steadily. You know what I mean? But after a year, after one year with the Devil Forge, I seem to have been able to acquire 400 pounds of bars of various, <laughs> various kinds. So, you know, looking at this chart, I see back here in 2007, we had this little rip up and we had rejection, 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 three rejections from an area of resistance. Then it made this move down. Uh-oh, took out swing lows, right? And then it came back up for its last hoorah, the blow-off top. Came all the way back up here, and then what happened? It plummeted. So it went from 4 bucks all the way down to $1.25. Ouch! Right? That's an ouchie. And I, you know, I don't own a house yet. And last time I checked, I can't buy a house with copper bars. Yeah, so, and I don't want to be forced to sell at a low price so I'm looking at this chart and I'm like okay well how long is it in between highs well we had a high here in 2011 and now this high in 2021 2022 so that's over 10 years <laughs> 10 years so 400 pounds times another 10 years whoa you know what I mean so I, I don't know I'm seeing Look, look at this. Rejection. 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 Oh, we took out swing lows. What do you think possibly is coming? You know, maybe we do the last two raw, come up, break these swing highs, and then plummet. But I do not think we're going back down to $1.25. I really doubt it. I think $2.50 possibly is the lowest we'll ever see copper again. But again, we could be wrong on that. And you know what? I, I just think it makes sense. Cash out now. You know, I want to do a test run anyway. I want to know what to expect in the future. Like, is it worth melting down these bars? What kind of, what price are they going to give me? First off, you know what I mean? Are, are they going to, they going to haggle with me? Like, because it's not, it doesn't fit into one of their categories. It's, it's not bare bright it's not copper tubing it's not wire it's bars so i just i kind of want to do a test run you know and just see so that's what we're going to go do let's go cash out So this was uh, definitely an interesting experience. We're here at Matuccio, Matuccio Scrapyard in Everett. And I had a little cart when I was unloading the bars um, out onto the cart. There was all the people that were driving out and driving in. And I had so many people stop. And they were like, hey, 
Are those gold bars? <laughs> I was like, no. Quick little side note. You know, they treated me very fair there. I just, I wanted to state that, you know, those guys are really good. I, I like that scrap yard. I always try to go there. Best prices in town. And I just, yeah, definitely recommend going there. If you got scrap and you're in Boston, that's definitely the place to go. So as soon as I wheeled, you know, the cart in, I saw two guys kind of looking back at back and forth at each other like they were confused. In 800 feet, and then, turn left on Arlington Street. And then the boss comes out and he looks down and he's like, oh, I don't take that. I'm like, really? Okay. I said, back in the truck. And I grabbed the cart and I started wheeling out and then he like kind of came out. He said, hold, hold, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. What? What what is this? And I said, it's pipes, it's wires, it's electrical motors. I've scrapped. I've melted it down. I put a uh, you know borax flux in it. Floated all the shit to the top, and, and scooped it off and poured these these bars. And he's like, oh, okay, all right. He's like, it's not the uh, it's not the brass I'm worried about. Because brass is mixed with a bunch of, like, it is mixed with a bunch of metal. So I think that's that one's easy to them. But copper is the big one because there's a huge price difference between dirty, clean, and you know. And if they pay the wrong amount, they could be getting Turn hosed. Left on so I, I understand his, his fear, but he was like, "Oh, I'm just afraid that someone put a lead like lead bar inside." And I'm like, dude, have you ever melted down copper? It melts at like 2,000 freaking degrees. It's like 1,800 to 2,000 degrees. Have you ever melted? How, you tell me, how in the hell are you going to get lead inside of that? In 700 feet, turn right on Everett Avenue. I mean, that's, that's a lot of work to go through. But he, he kind of... I don't know, he, he kind of just talked with me for a minute and he's like, okay, well, how much does copper melt at? And I was like, about 1,800, 2,000, somewhere in there. And he's like, well, right on Everett Avenue. what about brass? What does brass melt at? And I'm like, it's less than copper. Brass melts easier. I think he was testing me. And he's like, in all right, exit to all right, let's, one let's south weigh them up. Bridge, he's like, uh, he's exit like, right to US one south. Tobin Bridge, Boston. Yeah, he said he's like brass. I'll give you whatever. It was like two, uh, two something. And I was that's that's what I was. Yeah, brass. I'm not worried about it. I only had 90 pounds. Whatever. It was the copper. And he's like, well, copper. I'm going to give you 10 cents under number one. So when it comes to copper, what's the best, right? If you're a scrapper, you know this. Bear bright, bear bright copper wire. Because and th this is the I Scrap app. This shows the national averages for scrap prices. So you can see right up here, number one, bare bright copper wire, national average, $3.56 a pound, right? So here's brass, 205, I got $2.15 a pound for my brass. And here's number one copper tubing. He said he gave me 10 cents under, he gave me three dollars and fifty cents a pound, so he he must have been given three sixty or something away. But pretty much, I got number one bare bright copper wire price as a national average for my bars. I think I did pretty good. I definitely recommend that scrapyard too. I'm like ten cents under number one, so that's that's a shame. That's a shame that I'm getting less than number one. And maybe I shouldn't have done it, but you know what? I had a price range that I was I was willing to take for that copper. I said between 1100 and 1400. If I get anywhere between 11 and 1400 for those bars, I will take it. And that's exactly what I got. I got 1300. Thirteen hundred and thirty-one dollars. So, the big question is, is it worth melting? Well, I still say yes, if you're storing it long-term. Because that ten cents isn't gonna freaking matter. 
10 cents is a lot like 10 cents is nothing in comparison to when the market's at its highs and the market's at its lows you know what I mean from four dollars down to a dollar 25 now that's a difference but 10 cents yeah I'm not worried about it not worried about it so yeah I would say now from now until the next high in copper I'm just gonna melt save put it aside and stack it up just like I did and I think more and more people are gonna be doing this and I think he's gonna see more and more bars coming in and maybe after he goes and sells these bars that I brought in because I know he knows he's got my license plate he's got you know my name so maybe after he goes and gets rid of these bars and see that it's nothing nefarious maybe on the next run he'll be a little bit better but you know what I mean oh nice while I'm recording a video too that's nice take profit level just been reached oh my god it's gonna be a good day it's gonna be a good day yeah make sure you subscribe throw me a thumbs up see you later what in the hell Nancy Pelosi, what what are you doing here? Get out of here.